It is once again that time of year where a teenage rail enthusiast throws a fit over fantasy paint jobs. So yeah, Lionel 2022 catalog looks real cool. Can I just take a moment to appreciate that cover design that looks really cool? Okay, so I don't really want to dawdle all too much. I want to get into this, so let's go. Now, here's the elephant in the room. We got two elephants in the room. First one, the Cab 3 thing. This honestly looks really cool. I know that the Cab 2 legacy system was like, it's over 10 years old at this point, so makes sense that they would want to bring in something new, and I'm sure that this will go very popular. With model railroaders, it looks good. I mean, I wouldn't be able to buy one because I'm not rich, but hey, hey, we can all dream, can't we? Now, the other elephant in the room, the Norfolk and Western Class A. This is the first thing that I heard would be in the catalog. Obviously, Lionel releases their Vision Line stuff first, but obviously with Vision Line, this is the best of the best. I have no doubt that it is the best of the best of the catalog. Um, not necessarily my favorite thing in this catalog, but still really good. 2104s. This is great to see. 2104s are really cool engines. I'm, I'm happy to see them back in Lionel. In a Lionel catalog, excuse me. Now, I mean, they did the Pennsylvania one wrong, but other than that, it looks okay. And I think it looks good. Considering I have seen Santa Fe 5011 in real life, I know what a 2104 looks like, and I think that they captured it pretty good. Yes! 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 Okay! Okay! Oh! Yes! 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 Okay, there is so much to take in here. It's just page after page of great things. I'm so happy to see these anniversary units, I'm so happy to see these heritage units and the military units and everything, unique paint jobs, which I don't know if they've ever been, well they might have been in no scale, but they have the solid rocket booster train, and the solid rocket boosters are removable, I love this. It's so great. I feel like, I got a hunch that Lionel bought the tooling from MTH for the solid rocket booster thing. And that's why, but I feel like they've really been taking advantage of that, and they have been doing a great job keeping that up. I'm sure that people could make some nice, long, solid rocket booster trains. It's actually something I'm kind of nostalgic of, because I remember the old MTH ones from 2010. Rest in peace, MTH. Okay, so now moving along to the O-Gage stuff. The turbine set looks really cool. It says you got new S2 turbine. Yeah, that was probably MTH Rail King tooling, and it's great to see it in Lion Chief form. There's a lot of stuff, former Rail King stuff in Lion Chief form, which looks great. And I am so glad that they've been following up with the Genesis, more paint jobs, more heritage stuff. They've even been introducing AM fleets. This consistency is amazing, and it's like... Chef's kiss, everything. It's it's great. It's beautiful. I love it. So moving along, uh, 44 tonners dash eights, which are also likely Rail King tooling, and they look amazing. They all look great, and I think they'll. I might have already said this. I think they'll look great with the rest of the Lion Chief stuff. Welcome to the Lion Chief fleet, Rail King. Okay, one more thing I wanted to mention. Uh, the Great Locomotive Chase seems like an interesting uh, little set. It looks great in O-scale, or O-gauge form, I guess I should say. An interesting part of railroad history, and I, I think that these will also sell pretty good. Now, the rest of the catalog, I don't have much to say of. I don't have much to say about the American Flyer, because obviously I don't have anything S-scale. And the rest of the catalog, other than that, uh, it's either stuff that I've already seen or I don't really have much of an opinion of. So I guess I'll do some closing thoughts here. It's a great catalog. I guess this catalog has just been blessed with some really good items, but either way, Lionel has been doing awesome with this catalog. I mean, it's not 100% it's not perfect. 
There were some things in this catalog that I kind of wished I could have seen, like different types of steam engines, maybe things like 2102s or something like that. And one thing I've been wanting to see for a while is the 1970s auto train. I think that would look great. I mean, we've already gotten some passenger cars of it, so it makes sense. But I guess considering there's so much good stuff in here, I shouldn't really complain. There were a bunch of things that basically came out of nowhere and I think will shock a lot of people. Things like the solid rocket booster stuff. Um, all that looks amazing. And I think that a lot of people will be happy with this. I know I'm very happy with it. And I would go as far to say that this is one of the greatest Lionel catalogs I've seen in modern times in quite a while. For the past few years, this is really up there. It's, it's that good. So if you have the money, uh, whenever they ship their stuff out, I would recommend picking some stuff up from this catalog, and great job, Lionel. I rate this a 9 out of 10.